everyone. It's BJ at Christie's RV again. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of the 2020 StarCraft 182RB Autumn Ridge. Start up front here with your front storage compartment. You have your manual hand stabilizer jack handle and your little light there. There's a button to turn that on and off. Just like this. Here's your solar plug for solar panel. It's solar prepped and ready to go. You have your 20 pound propane bottle and your 12 volt battery up here in the front. You have your manual tongue jack. On the back side here, you have your potable water fill for your holding tank. Take water with you wherever you're going. And there's a the low point drain right there for that tank. This is the venting area for the back of the fridge. You want to keep this area open and free of anything. It does need airflow and ventilation for the fridge to operate properly. Right here is the furnace exhaust. That does get hot. You don't want to put anything in front of that or block that from getting proper airflow as well. Down here you have your holding tank discharge, your black tank here for your toilet, and your grey water for your shower and your sinks. The hose for that is in the back bumper here, in the little storage compartment. You have your city water connection here, your cable satellite input, and this is your 30 amp plug, stores away inside nicely here. You just push that back in when you're not using it. This here is the hot water tank. You have your drain plug there. You have a pressure relief valve here. You want to make sure you release all the pressure before pulling the drain plug. Coming on back, you have your spare tire. And on this side here, you have an AC plug on the outside of the trailer, which is also GFI protected. I'll show you that on the inside when we get inside. You have your electric power awning and your LED lights. You do have right here to adjust the pitch of the trailer. When the awning is fully extended, you can pull down on this. And that'll adjust the pitch so you can tip it if you know you have a light rainfall or something like that. If you are in a heavy rainfall or windy day, you want to make sure you push that, roll it all the way in, and not leave it out because uh, it will cause damage or rip the awning itself. Down here are your stairs. Just lift up and pull out. inside so when you first walk in the door on the bottom right hand corner here you have your fire extinguisher and up here on your left is your indication panel here battery your fresh water if you have anything if you fill up that potable tank and then your holding tanks for your black and gray water you have your water heater that's your light your uh, sorry your propane just flick that on It'll ignite. If there is a problem and there is no gas present, this light will come on, letting you know that the propane's either out or not working or didn't light. You have your water pump, so if you have water in the holding tank, you turn that on and it creates pressure for your system. You have one switch here for your interior lights, and a switch here for your outdoor lights. And then you have your button here for your awning to extend and retract that awning. Just like that. Up front, you have your bed with a storage compartment underneath. Some lights. You have AC plugs on both sides of the bed. 
You have an emergency exit here. What you can do is you lift up on the red handle, pull towards you, and push all the way out, allowing you to get out of the trailer in case of emergency. You have your smoke detector, just like the one at home. Press and hold the button every once in a while, make sure it's working. Down here you have your CO detector, same thing, button for testing. Every once in a while you want to do that and make sure it's working properly. Then we have your stove here, glass top cover. To light the stove, simply turn it to the flame and press the igniter like that. Also has a little accent lighting. Light and fan on your little hood ranger. Your microwave, just like at home. Your fridge and freezer. You have on and off. And then you have auto. What's going to happen here is the fridge is going to search for electric power. The 110 AC. If that's not present, it'll switch over to gas like it's doing right now. If power goes out, anything like that, it'll go to the gas power comes back on it'll go back to gas if you don't want to do that and you want it just strictly running on the propane press the button like that so it says gas and it'll work just primarily on the propane stereo system here has zone one your inside speakers zone two you have speakers outside on the awning and this it does do bluetooth uh, has an HDMI input and USB input. Have the TV there. Right here is your thermostat for your furnace. You have the little at the bottom here to set the temperature and to turn the furnace on. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna push this little back button over. It does need a little bit of force. You won't break it, just like that. And to shut it back off, you just pull it back, just like that. light. You have your dinette. You can lift the table up, pull the legs out, and put that down and that folds into a, another sleeping quarters. Back here is the bathroom. You have your light switch and your fan, your vent. This does do the fan. You need to turn the handle to open the actual vent itself though. Your tub and shower, sink, this is your GFI which also protects any other uh, AC plugs that are in the wet areas so if you come in and you see the little red light come on, the AC is not plugged in right now but if it is plugged in and it trips you'll have a little red light, simply hit reset and it resets that breaker for you. Under the bathroom vanity here, I don't know if you can see, but there are two little black shutoffs. That's your low point drain for the water system in the trailer. So if you're winterizing stuff like that, that's where you're going to lift those up and drain all the water out of the water lines. Inside this compartment right here, there's two small screws. That gives you access to the backside of the hot water tank as well if you need to service anything for winterizing stuff like that. Down here is your panel, you have your, your 110 AC breakers, and then you have your 12 volt fuses down here. Reminder, the trailer does have to be, the 30 amp plug I showed you outside does have to be plugged into a 110 source for you to have AC power in the trailer. Down here, underneath the kitchen sink, more storage and your water lines. This compartment right here you have two screws as well undo those screws this pulls out and that's where your water pump is you also need to know where that is for when it comes time to do winterizing and stuff like that more storage there's storage counters on each cupboards on each side of the bed and more overhead here above the dinette and that's pretty much everything hopefully i was able to Show you everything you need to know and 
and enjoy your trailer. Have a great day.